guys, we are on ABCDE Equity. We're going to be talking about what is equity. I'm going to give a short, brief definition of what it is and how it can be useful to you and me. So what is equity? Equity is the total claim or ownership, if you will, on a specific asset or more popular in, in companies. So if you have X amount of equity, that's how much percentage you have of the company. So if the company were to say, let's say if they were to liquidate all of their, all of the material, all of the assets, everything in the business name, and you pay off the liabilities, all of the debt, anything left over would be considered the equity. So let's say you had a hundred thousand dollar business, you had ninety thousand dollars in liabilities or expenses, and you had ten thousand left over, assuming that that was net income generated. And if you were to retain that, <laughs> that's kind of a mouthful, but. If you were to retain that money and keep that in the company to grow, that would be considered your equity. Now, I know that's a really simple explanation of it, but for me, I like it when you deal in simple numbers and I'm sure you guys would appreciate that as well. But equity is really helpful for determining, hey, who gets incentive? It's incentive to grow the company. So typically you'll see that founders have a lot of equity because they start or they found something, especially with companies, they're gonna have a high percentage of equity because they are taking on the risk to make sure that that company stays afloat. So what you see is with public markets, um, you see that people invest in the stock market, that's, that's investing in a public equity, right? You're, you want claim or ownership on that company. So what's really important with equity is you wanna make sure that the company doesn't have, you know, or that it's not overvalued or that there's not too much debt on the books. And what that does is it tells someone, hey, hey this is how much is left over after everything is done and said for. Equity is also very useful for determining a financial health of a company, if you will, um, because it lets you know, it gives you ratios. Hey, we can say hey, there's this much debt or there's this much equity in the company. That allows you to kind of figure out what the value, the, the true value. Now that's not to say the full value of the company, but a general idea of what the financial outlook or the situation is uh, with, with a company. Now, obviously you can't tell the full story when it comes to you know, a full financial picture, but equity is really helpful for determining the ownership of an asset. So here's another really great example. Um, we're gonna shift away from companies and we'll move over into real estate. Real estate is a great, great picture to kind of illustrate what that looks like. So let's say that you buy a house for $100,000, you have to put 20% down and 80% will be, will be covered by the loan of the bank. And so what that looks like is you have 20% equity starting the purchase of that asset. So if you were to sell that house, you have 100%, right? 100% of the value, 80% subtracted. That's gonna go straight back to the bank because that's what you owe them. And the whatever's left over is the 20%. So this is why a lot of people enjoy investing in real estate because over time you see appreciation, you see rental income, you see changes in markets. And so what happens is when you purchase something for X amount, it goes up in value. That actually increases your equity over time. And so what that looks like, let's say we move from, you purchase it from $100,000 and it moves to $150,000, okay? You still owe that 80, but what happens is you just gain $50,000 in equity. So it's actually really helpful and you can use that equity against your debt and pay off your debt. Um, so it's it's a very effective way for building wealth. In fact, I would say equity is probably one of the strongest ways that you can actually grow your wealth. Um, and so there's different ways people like to generate wealth, like to, like to facilitate the way to grow their money. And for me, it is my personal opinion, I'm not advising anyone, but equity is a wonderful, in fact, sure proven way to build wealth. If you want if you want to increase your wealth, go buy equity in houses or rental properties or companies or whatever the case may be. It's a wonderful way to build wealth. The thing with it though is you have to assume that there are risk with whatever it is that you're investing in. So as long as you can minimize and mitigate that risk, uh, equity is a wonderful way to go and that's what I like to use from my personal experience. I like investing in equity type investments. So We'll see you guys on the next video.